Oh, good morning, love train. Lines across my face in the early light of day. There we go. Alrighty. So today is the day before Halloween, but it's Halloween in your world. So happy Halloween. Um, today is the Halloween scooter ride. Uh, honestly, I don't know what kind of turnout we're going to get today. I hope some people will want to do it. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking about it all month, but a little nervous for today's ride just because like, I don't really know um, what we're going to do other than ride around town. Maybe I should just keep it loosey goosey. Maybe I just try to plan these things too much, you know, possibly. Um, and I think I just get like wrapped up in it because we've done so many scooter rides now that it's just become um, kind of tough to like actually go out and find specific things to do on these scooter rides. You know, it's a small town and yeah, you know, so there's like barely anything to do. In fact, I googled <laughs> things to do in Venice, Florida, just specifically for this ride to just see if Google had any like information that I didn't have, you know. And uh, there were only like five things to do in this town. Most of them were restaurants and the other things that weren't restaurants we've already done on our scooter rides. And we've already gone to most of the restaurants they uh, suggested on our scooter rides. So I'm just really like at a loss for like good stuff to do on these rides. So I think I'm just going to let it ride today. Anybody who wants to ride with me, it's open ride. You know, your idea is as good as mine. If there's a place you want to go, let's go there. You know, if there's a, a cool restaurant where you like to have lunch, let's go there. You know, um, I don't even know many restaurants in town that are, like, decorated for Halloween, which would be nice on a ride like this where, you know, some of us are going to be in costume and stuff. It'd be nice to, like, go to a restaurant that was actually decorated for Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, just stuff like that. So I'm a little bit concerned what the turnout is going to be like. I'm a little bit concerned about what we're going to do. I'm a little bit concerned about what my costume is going to be. Well, not really, because like I um elected not to do my Jack Sparrow costume today. I'm going to save that for tomorrow for the actual Halloween. Um, and today, I'm just going to put a bunch of Halloween stuff on. I'm going to wear that skeleton t-shirt that my mom got me. Um, I have, you know, these little uh, eye tattoo things that my mom got me that I'm going to try out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put these on very shortly. I can't figure out if your eye is supposed to go in that opening and then the the line on the bottom is supposed to be your bottom liner or if uh, the line on the bottom is supposed to be your top liner and all of that is supposed to go on your brow. I suppose maybe once I get these cut out a little better I might be able to figure it out and understand a little better but anyways let's get them cut out and get them put on so we can go on this scooter journey all right this is how it turned out I'm pretty pleased um yeah try and give you a close-up here of what they look like what I had to do this one's a little better I like this one better I had to you know cut them out and then um I ended up finding out that it was supposed to be the bottom liner, so I went ahead and did it like that. And I had to cut it in two pieces. It wasn't already like pre-cut like that or anything, but I found that the shape that they had it in was impractical for my eye since I do have such a crease right there. Maybe if you have the type of eyelid where 
you don't have like a crease at all you could probably do it all in one piece but that is not what my eyelid looks like so yeah I cut it in two pieces so I did the top first and then I did the bottom and I think it turned out pretty well really beautiful especially this one I just like it more so yeah um the these eye tattoos are from CCL store on Etsy and if you want to I will you know link it in the description below so that you can see and then I just put my red lipstick on with it I was gonna wear black but I can't find my black lipstick maybe tomorrow in time for the pirate costume um, so yeah I gotta get my stuff together right now and head to Sarasota Scooters and see what's waiting for me. I got my skeleton t-shirt on too. You can kind of see it in the mirror right there. Oh, it looks really cool. I like it. Can you see the skeleton? So, yeah, that's my pre-Halloween costume today. Oh, also important detail when doing these eye tattoos. I had to go in where, uh the tattoo didn't hit my skin and kind of go over it with an eyeliner and then I lined my waterline in black and this little smudgy part what you see right here that's eyeliner as well so it gives it a little smoky effect and then I went over and did a, a light pink highlight there at my brow bone and then um, I did black eyeshadow in my eyebrows to fill my eyebrows in with so yeah, that's how you do this look. Let's go on our scooter ride. Well, here I am at Sarasota Scooters and nobody is here. That's okay though. I wasn't sure like if this ride was gonna fly or not, you know, because it is on a Thursday afternoon. I debated maybe doing a night ride, but then, I don't know, I thought that maybe people wouldn't be available for that either. So I settled on the daytime ride and I, I get it. So like this ride might actually not go on today as planned. That's fine, I'll sit here. I'll wait till about 12.15. I think, you know, that'll be fair enough. And uh, if anything, I'll go to Classics on my own. Shoot. I thought we would, if we did a ride today, we would go to Classics, which is the new restaurant that's opening up in town. And it's open right now. It's brand new. So I thought that would have been a cool thing to do. Um, but uh, if nobody shows up, then I have no shame. I'll go by myself with these eyeballs and these red lips. I have no shame. I don't care. It's my day off and I just want to have fun. It's the day before Halloween, my favorite holiday. So I'm, I'll just make my own fun. I don't even care. All right, guys, ain't nobody interested in going on a scooter ride on a Thursday afternoon, the day before Halloween. Oh, well, that is okay. You know, we will, I'm here at Classics and I'm just gonna try it on my own. So yeah, um, and uh, this restaurant used to be Pineapples. It didn't have very good reviews. Everybody just kind of hated Pineapples. It really sucked, but it's under new ownership now and it's called Classics. So we'll just, you know, see what's going on in here. See if they've like turned the business around at all. Although I am not like the world's best restaurant critic or anything like that just because I'm so like flexible. Like in order to get me to say anything bad about a restaurant I think the server would have to like dump my soup in my lap like on purpose or something. <laughs> I am I am uh, not very I'm very easy to please, we'll put it that way. Alright guys, well, 
um classics was good i liked it you know like i said i'm really not too picky though i just come i get my beer and my salad and my french fries and that's good enough for me you know but uh the atmosphere seemed to be good relaxing chill the food was good their balsamic vinaigrette dressing was like amazing it was so good for my tongue um but anyway i stopped off at home and i put some more jewelry on since I'm not gonna be uh, on the scooter riding around all afternoon like I thought I was going to be. Um, but right now, I gotta go to the library and go and send a bill back home to Kansas. Gotta get that paid. I sure do hope that the library closes at four instead of three because it's already three. So, there's a video right now on YouTube. It's got like 16 million hits so far and uh, maybe you guys have seen it, maybe you haven't, um, but it's the video of the woman walking around in downtown New York for 10 hours um, and it's supposed to have to do with um, uh, street harassment and uh, basically she's got a camera following her the entire time showing you like how many guys call out to her and uh, walk right next to her and like totally invade her personal space and everything if you haven't seen it I will link the video in the description below so that you can go watch it and see what I'm talking about and I have made some comments on that video and made some comments um, and because there were people in the comment section saying like oh what's wrong with saying hi you know and and stuff like that <clears throat> and I just thought I would like share my views a little bit okay. and um, about that subject <laughs> I mean if you saw what happened just then I just passed that guy we made eye contact I smiled at him he smiled back and he said hi and I smiled again so like that's how street interactions should go like I was not bothered by that at all whatsoever I just think that when a woman is walking on the street and you don't know her or it could be a guy too it doesn't this does not have to be like a man hater type point that I'm making here um, if somebody's walking on the street and they don't even glance your direction or make eye contact with you there's no reason to say hi to them just let them go on their merry way we don't just because I'm walking on the same sidewalk as you does not mean that we have to exchange greetings at all you know the situation that just happened back there would have been very different had I maybe not been holding the camera up and maybe had I like been in a hurry to get somewhere or maybe I was upset about something and I hadn't have made contact with that guy and he said hi and then proceeded to say hey why aren't you talking to me why aren't you saying anything to me that situation is completely different than what just happened as you saw it right here um, I just, uh, as a woman, it happens to me a lot, especially if I'm walking around in a city. It happens to me a lot that I get, you know, shouted out at by dudes on the street. It just does. Um, and I don't think that I should have to get used to that, being a woman. You know, I think that it should be changed. I think that people should not, you know, there's nothing wrong with just saying nothing. Don't say anything. You see a pretty lady walking down the street, just let her walk down the street. You don't have to talk to her at all. <laughs> Nobody's feelings will be hurt, you know. So, those are just my opinions. And I, like I said, it doesn't have to be a man-hating thing. It can go either way, guys or girls. Girls, if, if you see a dude walking down the street and you think he's sexy, you do not need to shout out to him like that. He might not enjoy it, you know. 
just keep that shit to yourself. <sighs> Anyways, those are my thoughts. We are. I hope that they're open. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I did end up getting my bill paid. The post office was open, so I am excited about that. I've been at home for a while, just, you know, watching my favorite YouTubers, really enjoying this day off for real. Um, and now I'm walking to Publix because I'm really hungry, and I don't have any freaking food in the house so I'm gonna go to Publix and get some I've just been walking everywhere all day today in this crazy get up people are probably like what on earth but um I don't care it's the day before Halloween I want to enjoy myself shoot I noticed around here like Halloween isn't really like something that people are like amped up about. I don't get it. I love Halloween. I get amped up for it every year. Ross with Carrie and uh, she's got a job interview tomorrow and she is looking for some clothes. The only problem is that the tattoos have to be covered. Right. Well, she wants to cover her tattoos and there's really nothing at Ross that has like long sleeves, like a long sleeve Ross blouse. Like this is cute, but it's a three quarter sleeve. She needs a full sleeve. Oh, this is so cute, but I wish it were a long sleeve once again. See, look at it. Hmm. This is why I only shop at Goodwill. They have everything that I need every time. I would have just had more. Ooh, that's oh, that's beautiful. perfect. Uh, at least as long as it looks good on. That's really great. That's what I had in mind, like some kind of white blouse. But, um, what kind of bra would you? A nude it's one. How low down cut it is. Well, it might not be so much once you get it on. I would try it on first in the fitting room. Okay. Probably need a nude bra with it though. I have one. On, I think. Yeah, you do. That's great though. If it looks good on, I think that would be like perfect. And as long as it's not too sheer, should be good. All right, we'll take, this is the only option. Well, we All right guys, I'm home. I'm ready to go to bed. I look like a freak right now because I tried to remove those eye tattoos with baby oil. And it, for the most part, worked pretty good. It got bunch of it off but I just got tired of rubbing my eyelids and my skin was like ah, give it a rest so I'm just gonna sleep like this to see what happens you know once I've slept in it overnight and I'm pretty sure I should be able to get the rest of it off tomorrow probably with no problem so that'll be good Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And jump on the love train with us. Woo -woo! Also make sure you follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash littlehipster. You can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Alrighty, tomorrow's Halloween. I'm excited. You guys have a happy Halloween and good night. I love you all. Don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables. Bye-bye.